So you're getting rid of your aquarium fish. It could be for a multitude of different reasons. You either bred too many, you're moving, you want some new fish, or you just can't take care of them anymore. And I'm gonna share with you guys five different ways to get rid of your fish to people that either want them or that you can get money for them. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aquarium Library with Andrew. Today we're gonna to be talking through five different ways to get rid of your aquarium fish. And some of them might seem like no brainers, some of them might be a little bit, you know, out there, but you guys are interested in trying to get rid of your aquarium fish, so I'm trying to here to help you with that. And the first one is to sell your fish, and obviously, duh, you can sell your fish, but the way that you're going about selling them uh, can be different depending on what you were trying to do. If you bred too many fish and have a lot of African cichlids or guppies or live bears or things of that nature, you could take them to your local fish store and try getting some credits for in-store to be able to purchase some new fish or items that you'd otherwise need. So that's one way to do it. Know that you're not going to be getting top dollar for those types of situations. You can also sell your fish online using things like band pages uh, for a specific aquarium group. So the local one near me, we have our own specific band page where you can go online and post pictures of your fish, what you have available, what price and all that type of stuff. Because on Facebook, in case you guys didn't know this, they don't allow live animal sales anymore. So if you try posting something on Facebook, you'll probably get taken down and flagged and aquarium groups don't necessarily want to get their entire you know, groups deactivated because of people selling live fish on there. So they have band pages specifically for that. So you can, you know, reach out to your local band page and post what you have available. And in all of this, you should, you know, be wary that you are not probably going to get the full value value of that fish that you would see in a store because you're trying to get rid of it for whatever reason and somebody is gracious enough to take it from you and you can still get some money from it. So you know, you might see a large Oscar for sale for you know $75 in the store, but know that that Oscar is probably gonna be sitting there for a very long time and some specific individual is gonna come in looking for an Oscar of that size and of that color and of that variety. That can apply to any of the fishes that you have. So, you know, maybe selling it for $25 or just finding a good home for it might be a better alternative rather than just trying to, you know, pinch your pennies and get as much out of that fish as possible because there very well might not be people that want that large of a fish if the fish has gotten too large. So the second way that you can go about selling them is through Craigslist, but Craigslist is sort of outdated at this point. There's really not too many people on there specifically looking for aquarium stuff. When I check her on Craigslist, there, there really isn't any stuff that isn't posted elsewhere. So you can still try selling on Craigslist, that is an option, but know that it isn't uh, the best and most efficient use of your time in trying to sell a fish or get rid of a fish that you're just trying to, you know, get rid of. Before we go on to the third thing, if you guys are liking this video and are finding it valuable, I'd ask that you guys like the video and maybe consider subscribing to the channel as well as checking in some of the other videos that I have, particularly pertaining to my how I sold a lot of my Celestial Proteinios that I bred, which I'll leave up in the corner above. So with that, we'll get into the third one, which is reaching out to your local aquarium club. On my local aquarium club's page, they have a section at the bottom where you can submit a form saying that you have fish you're trying to get rid of and they can see if any of their members have the ability to take on those fish for you. Granted, you may not be able to get any money for those fish or a very small amount in comparison to the other options, but you're at least finding a good home for them. So we're trying to stay away from dumping your fish into local ponds or waterways or creeks or that nature and finding other ways to get rid of that fish in a more responsible way. So the fourth way is, is more applicable for larger fish that have since outgrown your care. I'm thinking uh, Oscars or Pacus or Aeropimas or Arowanas, things of that nature that have just gotten too large for you to reasonably maintain and take care of and need a bigger home. The first thing that comes to mind is looking to a place like Ohio Fish Rescue. That's just the first one that comes to mind as an example. I'm sure there are probably other examples or groups or organizations like them in your local area that might be able to assist you in taking a larger fish from you. And granted, they may not be able to take it, but could then pass you on to somebody else that would be able to actually receive that fish that you can no longer take care of in terms of size or whatever situation it is. So that'd be the other, the fourth thing that you could do is look at, you know, fish rescues or places or operations like that to help get rid of the fish that you can no longer take care of or want or need or whatever the reason is. So the fifth thing is a little bit more of an obscure one, but if you're into Reddit or if you have a Reddit, you can go to different subreddits within there, like AquaSwap, and you can post the information that you have pertaining to the fish that you have or plants or equipment or whatever you have onto there and people local to you can reach out to you and look at buying that or taking it off your hands for you if you no longer 
take care of them responsibly if they have outgrown their tank or you just don't want them anymore. That's another less commonly known way to get rid of aquarium fish, but a way nonetheless that you guys may not have heard about. So there's five ways that we can get rid of fish. We can sell them to fish stores for credit or for cash. We can reach out to local band pages of aquarium clubs and post on there. We can reach out to local aquarium clubs directly through their websites and say that we have a large amount of fish. We can reach out to fish rescues to take on large fish that we can no longer take care of or find us people that would take them within their group. Or we can use Reddit uh, like AquaSwap to get rid of them. So if I had missed anything and you guys can think of anything else, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And while you guys are going down to the comments, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up bell really helps uh, the channel and helps get this information out to more people who, you know, might be in a situation where they can't take care of the fish anymore. So with that, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I'll see you guys in the next one.